GPS gets for our landing target location. It's about 232 meters from the uh, landing target. We're seeing heartbeat tones again after the switch. Things are looking good. Coming up on the tree. traveled over 350 million miles to Mars. It's about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, and it's controlled by a team in California that tells it where to drive and what to do. One day, we'll send people to Mars, and if you study hard and work hard, maybe one of you in this classroom will be among them. Hey, Captain. Your little girl called. She seemed real excited about something. Thanks, Chief. I'll call her right now. Hi, Daddy. Hey, baby. Daddy, you'll never guess what me and Brady saw today. What? We saw pictures from the rover on Mars. Really? Was it cool? It was awesome. The teacher said that one day we'll send people there, and I want to be the first girl on Mars. What you doing, honey? Building a Mars rover. Can I see? Sure. Mom, do you think it's hard to design a spaceship? Well, I think you're going to have to study hard in school, but I think you would make a great spaceship designer. Can I get a Mohawk like the guy that drives a Mars rover? <laughs> Good morning. I'm Brady Anderson. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope is about beginnings. Beginnings of the galaxies, beginnings of the stars, beginnings of the universe, our universe. Now, here's a more simplistic view of the telescope, made up of four major pieces. Now, first, we have the optical element, or mirror. And right behind that, we have the integrated science module. Complexities of modern warfare demand a vast array of capabilities, platforms, and sensors. From space through air and ground elements, the whole family of systems is greater than the sum of its parts. More effective, more lethal, more reliable. Good morning. I'd like to welcome all of you, our newest group of flight directors, to Mission Operations. This is the flight control room for all our current on-orbit operations. Now, before we tour the backroom workstations, you might be interested to know that the thicker to control the Mars flight is under construction right next door. Caution over speed and warning light on A7 is hot. Did the turbine speed actually get above 92,000? That's firm. Since we had a complete shutdown, the hydraulic pump that feeds it is offline. Without it, we can't land tomorrow. Copy that. Uh, flight GNC. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Flight Armstrong is showing an APU shutdown on the Sally Ride. We're looking at false readings on the heat exchangers in the water spray below for APU 2. Copy GNC. Let's get this thing fixed. We have a go no go call in 22 hours. Copy flight. Bips are GNC. All operators, you heard it. We have a little over 20 hours, so let's work this. Armstrong Houston. Okay, Pam, I think we've got it. There was a false positive on the software monitoring the APU2 heat exchangers that caused the override. We uplinked the final patch with this transmission, and this should do the trick. We appreciate all the hard work your team is doing back there. Couldn't have done it without you. We confirm, uplink, and install of the patch, and look forward to Flight's command to begin landing ops for tomorrow. Armstrong, Houston, you are go for lander set and deorbit burn. Copy, Houston. We are go for landing. that it took 
to make this possible. And for the students around the world who might be watching this transmission, we encourage you to study hard, follow your dreams, and reach for the stars.